Check it out guys, it's Trevor James. We are on the most beautiful train ride in the world. Unbelievable. So much scenery and we are going from full on food adventure to candy. Get ready to experience the true beauty of deep Sri Lanka. Cause today we're traveling from Colombo to Kandy by train and then going for a full on food adventure. Bringing you for some incredible vegetarian food, insanely plump and saucy banana leaf rice packets and more. Finishing up in the tea fields way up high, enjoying some super delicious and world famous Ceylon tea. Let's eat. What do you think, Ting? Beautiful, right? Amazing. Wow. And what's so nice is going around these corners because you can see the whole train and the red and the color. It's really nice. And we're almost at the most beautiful spot now, right? Yes, yes, yes. Wow, this is incredible. It's getting more beautiful and more beautiful as we go. So colorful. We are going deep into the core, guys. And this is gonna be a delicious food adventure. And one thing that is really nice about this train ride is that it's actually going quite slow. So you can just sort of hang out, enjoy the view, enjoy the lush greenery, and anticipate the delicious food that's coming up. Wow. What do you think, Ting? <laughs> it's awesome, man. Wow. Isn't this amazing? And we just got into candy, guys. It's gonna be so much fun. And before we start this huge candy food adventure, I want to give a huge thank you and shout out to this episode's sponsor, a product I personally use 100% of the time. I'm connected to the internet from my phone or computer, ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN is an app on your phone and computer that lets you connect to the internet just like you'd be able to back home from a huge list of global servers. Watch this. I've just opened ExpressVPN. I've got it open right here. I've selected USA, New York. I'm going to connect right now. One, two, three, four, I'm connected. Boom, my phone is in New York right now and I can access the internet just like my phone is in New York. So if there's content restrictions when you're traveling, if you can't access Netflix, YouTube, if you can't make voice calls on WhatsApp, you can use ExpressVPN to get around that. And I love the 100% privacy that it gives me when I'm connected to public Wi-Fi. I know that nobody can access anything that I do online. And that's because ExpressVPN encrypts my data and reroutes it through a secure server, keeping my data my business. And that's especially important when I use public Wi-Fi when I travel, like in airports. Airport Wi-Fi is notoriously unsecure, giving hackers an easy way to spy on your data. But with Express ExpressVPN, I have nothing to worry about. And ExpressVPN is giving away three months free to any Food Ranger subscribers on a one year package. It's a great deal. Check it out down below. We're gonna keep exploring, guys. And first up, we're going to rice and curry heaven. Awesome, guys. And right up here, we are going for a famous, famous Sri Lankan food, lump rice, in a beautiful banana leaf pack right up here at Sri Ramya. We're gonna go see how they make it and try it out. Hi, Aya. How are you? You have the lump rice? Okay. Oh, and look what we just found here, guys. All these banana leaves for the lump rice. And we are going to be loading that up with rice and curries. And oh, it's going to be good. It's like a banana leaf rice pack for lunch. Lump rice. Oh. So this is just so aromatic. And we're going to be making this in a banana leaf pack. It's like lump rice banana leaf packs to go for lunch. Tasty. Wow, look at that. Yellow from turmeric and curry powder. Oh, and you can actually see there's chickpeas and cashews and curry leaves, pandan leaves in there. And we're gonna be adding all these accompaniments as well. And here we go. There it is, the lump rice, the yellow lump rice. Yellow lump rice. Yellow lump rice. And then potato devil. Oh, wow. Onion sambal, and that's onion sambal. Spicy onion. Spicy. Spicy. And then chicken devil. Oh, gorgeous. And here's the real specialty, the grinjal moju, which is eggplant moju, eggplant, chili, onion. It should be sweet and spicy. And then a boiled egg. Wow. And then the fish cutlet. Fish cutlet. Awesome. And then just look at the color there. Chicken. Moju with eggplant and onion and spicy potatoes. There's, there's like a spicy chili sambal with onion in there and 
Oh, that's just a little packet of joy. Okay, and we're gonna go try it out. Oh, and they also have kotu. And we're gonna make a kotu here. So we got vegetable, egg. We're gonna make Sri Lankan kotu in candy. There's the roti, that's chopped roti right there. Sri Lanka, Sri Lankan kotu. <laughs> oh, look at all the chili and, and soy. Chili and soy, tomato. Oh, it's all in there. Oh, chicken gravy, look at all that gravy. And here's the real magic. Chicken. And then it goes right on the plate. Finished. Wow, and there it is. Look at that beautiful kotu. And people are so friendly here. Awesome. And as tasty as the kotu looked, we came for the lump rice. Let's eat. Ah, oh, beautiful. Look at what we got here, guys. Beautiful dal, lentil gravy. We got an awesome chicken curry over here. And then this is what we came for, the lump rice. Just a little bundle, a little lunch bundle of joy. Oh, there it is, there it is. Look at the color there. So we've got a beautiful grinjal moju, and this is one of my favorites. We're gonna actually have to get some more of this. Oh, thank you. Sweet and spicy eggplant with chili and onion, tons of spices. And then they've also given us a deviled chicken. You can actually see the chili is just coated on that chicken. We've got a boiled egg and a beautiful fish cutlet. And then they serve a little bit of that onion and chili sambal all over top of this beautiful yellow lump rice. The first thing I really want to do here is just pour my favorite, one of the best things to try here in Sri Lanka, that grinjal moju. A little bit over top of that awesome rice. It's still hot. It's so hot and fresh. And, and you gotta just take a little mound there, get a little bit of that sambal, get a little bit of that fresh deviled chicken, and just look at that. Mmm. Oh, wow. Tasty. Wow. Very tasty. That is amazing. This grinjal moju, that is so delicious. Sweet. Spicy, aromatic from those onions, sweet from the onions. Oh, life doesn't get any better. That is the meaning of life. That is the purpose of eating right there. Flavor, Sri Lanka is so delicious. People are so friendly. There's so much variety in the cuisine. We've got other delicious curries here as well. And this is one of the nicest curry meals lump rice meals you'll ever have. And after that delicious chicken curry and dal, we're bringing you for a classic candy vegetarian experience. Awesome guys, right up here, there is a local candy style vegetarian joint. And what's so special about this here is that it's set up to give local women opportunities to create their own business. And it's right here, let's go check it out. Oh, look at this guys. We've got pure vegetarian. Oh, look at these. Oh, and you can see, look. Oh, and you can see she's just pulling those dosas right off the grill. And you can see locals are just loving it. And these are actually made from undu flour. Some local, local sambal and a vegetable gravy. And look at that, that's just pure vegetarian delight. Wow. Oh, and we're gonna make these beautiful jackfruit cutlets now. Fried in oil. Oh, so there's the jackfruit cutlet batter already placed into these spheres. And those are gonna be put right into the oil. Oh, beautiful. Awesome. And there they are, guys. These are the full plump jackfruit cutlets, a real specialty from Sri Lanka and candy. And after getting a few more vegetarian treats and desserts, it was time to feast. And just look at this, guys. So right here, we've got a beautiful dosa, and this is made from local undu flour, served with a beautiful spicy coconut green chili chutney and a vegetable gravy. And then over here, look at this. This is what I've been really wanting to try in Sri Lanka, Jack fruit cutlet. Look at that, it's like a fried jackfruit ball. Oh, look at that. You can see all the spices in there. Local vegetables, jackfruit, fried. It's crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. Oh, it really smells like a jackfruit upgraded mashed vegetable patty. And then we've got a local rice 
flour patty and there's some beautiful red chili sambo. And then over here, we've got a local dessert. This is like kitul flour jelly. So kitul flour is actually from the local kitul tree here in Sri Lanka. It's like Sri Lanka's natural sweetener. And then we've got a beautiful coconut syrup on top. That's gonna be delicious. And over here, a couple beautiful Sri Lankan hoppers with sambal. And then in here, this is a local dessert in a lotus leaf. This is made from kurakan flour. And that's a special local flour. And you can see they put cardamom in there. There's local spices. It's gonna be sweet and full of goodness. And then we've got local Sri Lankan string hoppers. So these are like rice flour vermicelli and it's covered with a local grain curry. And then on the back here, we've got a beautiful pole sambal. And to finish off, we've got, this is like super heavy. That's like a local pound cake. And this is made from rice flour, coconut milk, brown sugar. You can see some peanuts on there. This is the ultimate vegetarian meal. The first thing I really want to try here is this beautiful dosa. And this is with that undu flour and a spicy coconut sambal. Look at that. You can just dip it in that beautiful vegetable gravy. Mmm. Oh, that coconut sambal right there is spicy. You can taste it's made with coconut and fresh green chili. That chili gives it a lot of spice. So for the first bite out of this vegetarian meal, that is intensely spicy. Let's go in for some of these beautiful jackfruit cutlets. Mmm. Oh yeah, look at that. That is ultra delicious. It's actually a little sour and peppery, spicy. Really tastes like a jackfruit upgraded mashed potatoes with a little onion, a little pepperiness. I'm gonna have a little touch of that sambal there. Mm. This was an ultra healthy meal that you can't miss if you come to Candy, especially the jelly dessert with coconut milk. And to finish off the day, we're going out to the hills to enjoy some 100% pure Sri Lankan Ceylon tea. Just look at this, guys. Beautiful downtown candy. Just look at how green and lush that is. And actually, this whole city smells floral. It's like there's flowers in the air. Famous for tea here. We've got a beautiful Buddhist temple down there, the Temple of Tooth. We've got a majority of people here Buddhist, but we've got a melting pot of cultures of Sinhalese, Tamil, and Muslim as well. And next up, we're gonna be taking a drive out to the local fields and having a delicious cup of local candy tea. We're currently driving through the forest, winding through the hills on our way to have some local tea. It is so beautiful here. We're gonna find a local tea plantation and have a cup. And we've just been driving through these beautiful lush green tea fields. This is just like winding beautiful roads. Just look at how green this is. This is one of the biggest industries in Sri Lanka. $1.5 billion per year. There's over 200,000 tea fields in Sri Lanka and it employs over a million people. This is some of the highest quality tea in the world. We are just exploring around. There's some local tea shops just on the side of the road. We're going to go have a cup of this. It's going to be so delicious, but I honestly just can't get enough of how lush and beautiful and fresh this is in Sri Lanka. Just so vibrant. And we're going to go have a cup of that delicious Ceylon tea. Hello. Wow. And here we go. Hi. Hiya. How are you? You have tea. And here we are, guys. Look at this. Oh, you got to go in through the bananas. And there's some snacks down here. And there's tea. Hi, Aka. Ekok tea. And ekok roti. And there it goes. Local tea in the hills. Nice. Okay. Thank you. And we just got the local tea. This is the plain tea. They put sugar in there. This is Ceylon tea from Sri Lanka, right from the surrounding hills. Doesn't get any more local than that. They put a lot of sugar in there, so I guess it's going to be pretty sweet. And then we got a beautiful vegetable road tea. And this is just stunning scenery here. Oh, oh wow. Wow, that is ultra sweet. It's a little bitter. It's definitely got a pure tea flavor to it. There's no milk in there. It's kind of like an English breakfast tea with no milk and a little bit bitterness. Oh, actually, oh, 
Actually, that's not very good. Oh, it's got this. I think we got a bad one. Oh, actually, I don't really want to swallow that. It's got like a, a weird papperiness to it. But this tea is really good. And it's been a wonderful time in Candy, guys. Ting and I have had so much fun. Mm -hmm. Beautiful tea fields, delicious foods. Just finishing off with a coconut okay. here. And I'd love to know what you guys thought down below. Make sure to subscribe as well. You don't want to miss any of these videos. And thanks so much for watching. Make sure to check out expressvpn.com slash the food ranger for an exclusive offer for all you food ranger subscribers. Three months free with a one year plan. Thank you so much for watching.